story ever, or in the case of Dana right here, <laughs> an even more meaningful reason to cry on camera talking about something. So I want to go through this, and then we're going to, uh, and then we're going to talk a lot more about it. White gets emotional while telling a heartwarming story. The UFC president recently appeared on the In Search of Excellence this podcast by Randall Kaplan, where he yeah. told a heartwarming story about how he saved a girl's life and got choked up while doing it. That had posted something that he had just come back from Thailand and he was training Muay Thai over there with this legendary coach. And his daughter was dying uh, because she needed some type of heart surgery and she was gonna die in the next several days if um, she didn't get the money and it was gonna be $50,000. And the guy was like, Dana White, you need to put this money up right now and donate it to her. You can bet this much playing blackjack, uh, you know, blah, 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 and, and, and basically coming at me like that. And people on the thing were going, whoa, he can do whatever he wants with his money. You know, why do you expect it? But this is the way I talk. This guy was talking to me the way that I talk. His language. And he isn't wrong. I was like, no, this dude's absolutely right. He's not wrong, he's fucking right. I, I'm supposed to do this. It was fucking weird, whatever the reason was. So I end up reaching out, we find out if it's real. It's real. And I send the $50,000 over. When you, when you go into their gym, there's this massive picture of me in there. And then there's a big picture of me over her bed, like I'm, I'm her guardian angel. <clears throat> oh. And uh, and uh, I pay for her schooling and I pay for all of her uh, her uh, medical stuff and you know she's like yeah anyway I, I don't like talking about a lot of this stuff but you know I'm in a, I'm in a position that I'm very lucky that I can help other people and I'm not one of these guys that likes walking out and big check <clears throat> and doing all that bullshit. I do stuff because I should do it, and I do stuff because I want to do it. Um, I don't do it because <clears throat> because I want to be recognized doing it. Um, but I don't like talking about it, dude. As I would imagine, uh, you could guess that story got me pretty good, dude. Got me pretty good. I like just thinking about it from both sides. You know, um, obviously, if you're a consistent viewer of this channel, you already know I have three daughters and, uh, and Dana is someone who I relate to in basically every single personality trait there is, <laughs> you know, he's obviously significantly more successful than I am. However, from a, uh, just an outside in and I'm exceptional at reading people, me and that guy have a lot in common, dude, an awful lot in common. And I have nothing but respect for him. Every single time that I get to see his, his character checked, I'm, I validate that I'm right about what he is. And uh, like, again, this story hits on a lot of levels. I, I try to imagine, uh, I try to imagine what that would feel like. Uh, one of my daughters needing, like she, she, uh, fuck, I'm not going to be able to talk about this. I don't think if she was going to die and there was something that I like, there's, there was a way to save her. And I couldn't provide it, you know, like, uh, like there's an operation that'll save her life, but it requires 50 K and I don't have 50 K. Uh, I, man, I don't know how I would get through that. Uh, like, I don't know how I would get through that. Whatever a father does to get that money. I don't give a shit what it is you know, minus like killing other people's kids or something. But like there, there is not a story you could tell me or a crime a person could commit uh, that doesn't, you know, as long as it doesn't victimize children where I'm going to be like, no, that was the wrong thing to do. You just can't understand. You can't understand if you don't have kids. Like you can't, you can't understand if you don't have kids. There's no way for me to try to describe. If you don't have kids there, I don't care. And you don't want to know, be honest with you. If you don't have your own kids, you know, and I'm not trying to be a dick to people like adopt. Well, actually, I don't know about adopted. That's different. But like, you know, married into, you know, married this girl. And uh, anyways, you know. isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. So somebody, that father, mm -hmm. his daughter had to make the operation 
costs fifty thousand dollars. That's five hundred thousand kroners. And he's just he's like just shooting it out yeah. at Dana White. Like, hey motherfucker, <clears throat> you got this money. <clears throat> you throw it on blackjack in <clears throat> one hand. <clears throat> Fucking help my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, you're right. Mm. I think that's so, so beautiful, yeah. right? Yeah, you're he, right. And he says, like, I talk like that. So he was, but you know, I as I said, one more time speaking when he says it. Yeah. his language. It hits him better than if we he would might, you know, write a long letter with, you know, a lot of, um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Begging. The way this guy this approached. Begging. This was like, you know. Yeah, the way this guy you talked can, to him. You can, so you should. Yeah, he was so uh, short, uh, direct, uh, hard. Uh, and it's like, yeah, you don't know me. Doesn't matter. Uh, you got this money. Uh, I'm telling it to you. How he saved a girl's life and got choked up while doing it. That had posted something that he had just come back from Thailand. And he was training Muay Thai over there with this legendary coach. And his daughter was dying uh, because she needed some type of heart surgery and she was going to die in the next several days if um, she didn't get the money and it was going to be $50,000. And the guy was like, Dana White, you need to put this money up right now and donate it to her. You can bet this much playing blackjack, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, and, and basically coming at me like that. And people on the thing were going, whoa, he can do whatever he wants with his money. You know, why do you expect it? But this is the way I talk. Mm -hmm. This guy was talking to me the way that I talk. And he is wrong. I was like, no, this dude's absolutely right. He's not wrong, he's fucking right. I, I'm supposed to do this. It was fucking weird, whatever the reason was. So I end up reaching out, we find out if it's real. It's real. And I send the fifty thousand dollars over. When you when you go into their gym, there's this massive picture of me in there, and then there's a big picture of me over her bed, like I'm um, I'm her guardian angel. <clears throat> and uh, and uh, I pay for her schooling, and I pay for all of her uh, her uh, medical stuff, and. This is why I love this guy. Yeah. He is like no other. And also that he guy. says, you know, I don't want to talk about it. No one knew this. He, like, I don't know why he is telling this now. It's a bit the same with, you know, Trump and the homeless girl. I was thinking about her in Trump Towers. That, that still sneaked, lives yeah, there. Yeah, that sneaked in, lived there, hide. When he found out, he was like, here's an apartment. Yeah, yeah what she's talking about is there's this black lady, homeless, uh, and she sn mm -hmm. snuck into t Trump Tower and stayed there and then the police came called trump said what do you want to do with this uh, lady and this is on video by the way yeah. she is she is recording this mm. saying that she's lived there for free yeah eight years mm. she's in the one of the trump tower rooms mm. and she tells she tells the whole story yeah and that trump said let her stay <laughs> Uh, give her dinner mm. and breakfast yeah. and flowers every week or yeah. something. Yeah, she gets fresh flowers. She, but and the, she but, still lives there today. But the thing is that, you know, when people do something for others, you know, we talked about kindness before, <clears throat> that I say it's, you know, one of the most evil thing. But when you do things like this and not, you know, um, posting it or bragging about it or telling everyone that you did it, then it's like really, really for real. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. you don't do it so you can tell other people. You do it of your heart. Yeah, that's, that's some real yeah. shit. And respect yeah. it, Dana White. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah.